My name is Mrs. McQueen and I teach kindergarten at Highland Elementary. So I'm sure some of you guys have been there before, maybe at the ball games. So anyway, so this week you're going to be having kindergarten teachers hop on here and give you a video lesson out of your NTI packets. So I need you to get two things. I need you to get your packet and I need you to get a pencil or a crayon, whichever one you want to use, okay? So, you're going to get two things. You're going to go get your packet and go get a pencil or a crayon, something to write with, okay? So, when I say go, I want you to run and go get it. Are you ready? One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Go get your packet. Go, 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 go. All right, come on back here. Did you get your pencil too? All right, come on back here. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today, if you look at your packet, you're going to see on here it says reading and we're going to talk about characters. Now I know you have already learned about characters so we are going to review, okay, what characters are. Do you remember what characters are? Hmm, every story has a character. So in my class we come up with little gestures to help us remember things. Do you do that too? So my class wanted to say that characters are people. We talk about characters are people or animals in a story. So to help us remember that, we say characters are people. So we get our palm of your hand and we'd have our fingers walking like people, okay? So the people are like us. And then we had to come up with one for animals. So my class came up with bunny rabbit ears. So can you put your fingers up here like this and make a little bunny rabbit ears? So we said characters are people or animals in a story. So we have our books our hand out like a book. Okay, can you do that with me? So characters are people or animals in a story. Very good. Okay, so now that we know what a character is, I'm going to be reading you a story. And while I'm reading, I want you to be thinking, okay, what do the characters say? What did the characters do? How do they feel? Okay, I'll be asking you questions about the story on characters, okay? Are you ready? Okay, so today we're gonna to read a story out of your NTI packet day 21. So if you go ahead and turn to the story, you will see the title is How the Camel Got His Hump. So it looks like this, okay? So get yours out. And you will see that this is by Stephen Krinsky. He is the one who wrote this story. Do you remember what, who is the person who writes the story? What are they called? The author. Good job. You remember. You're so smart. The author is Stephen Krinsky, so he wrote the story. So the title is How the Camel Got His Hump. So let's... You can follow along here on the screen or you can follow along in your packet, okay? Here's the story of How the Camel Got His Hump by Stephen Krinsky. There was once a lazy camel that lived near the desert. He did not live alone. Help us gather the hay, said a horse. If we wait too long, the wind will blow it away. Huff, said the camel. He did nothing. Help us collect sticks for the fire, said a dog. Cold nights are coming. Huff, the camel said again. Help us plow the field said an ox. We need to grow food. Huff, said the camel. He did nothing. The next day, a genie came. He said, I feel something is wrong. What is it? The camel doesn't help, said the horse. We do all the work, said the dog. The ox nodded. He just stands around. The genie said, let's see about that. Then the genie appeared next to the camel. You need to change your ways, he said. Huh, said the camel. Is hump all you can say, the genie asked. Huff, huff, huff. Very well, I will give you a huff that you will always remember, the genie yelled. The genie waved his arms. 
the camel's back began to puff up. Soon, a big hump or hump stuck out. From now on, your hump will remind you of one thing, the genie said. You care only for yourself. And camels have had humps ever since. Okay, so in your packet are some questions that go along with our story today. So this is what you need your pencil or your crayon, okay? You're gonna need this. You're gonna have to circle your answer, okay? So on question one, it asks, who gathers hay? Was it answer choice A, the wind? Did the wind gather the hay? Was it answer choice B, the horse? Was it the horse that gathered the hay? Hmm. Or was it C, the camel? Did the camel gather the hay? I want you to get your pencil or your crayon. I want you to circle one of those answers, okay? A, the wind, B, the horse, or C, the camel. All right, very good, guys. All right, so question two is right below. Question two asks, the character is the camel in the story. What does the camel do? Okay, so I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna read all the answer choices first. Was it A, the camel plows the field? Was it B, the camel collects sticks? Or was it C, the camel does nothing? So I want to get your pencil or your crayon again. I want you to circle your answer choice. A, the camel plows the field. B, the camel collects sticks. Or C, the camel does nothing. Okay, do you have it circled? Good job, guys. All right, let's go on to question number three. Question number three. What do the animals tell the genie about the camel? Was it A, the camel does not help with the work? Was it B, the camel will not stand near them? Or was it C, the camel is not feeling well? What do the animals tell the genie about the camel? Get your pencil or your crown and circle your answer choice. Was it A, the camel does not help with the work? B, the camel will not stand near them? Or was it C, the camel is not feeling well? Go ahead and circle your answer. Good job. Okay, question number four. Read the underlined sentence. What does a genie want the camel to do? It says, then the genie appeared next to the camel. You need to change your ways, he said. Oh, said the camel. So the underlined part says, you need to change your ways, he said. What does a genie want the camel to do when he says that? You need to change your ways. Is it A, he wants the camel to appear near the animals? B, he wants the camel to get mad at the animals? Or C, he wants the camel to help the animals? Circle your answer. A, he wants the camel to appear near the animals? B, he wants the camel to get mad at the animals? Or C, he wants the camel to help the animals? Get it circled? Good job. Let's go on to question number five. How does the genie feel when the camel says, Humph. so here are your answer choices. A, the genie is afraid. Is it B, the genie is mad? Or is it C, the genie is sad? How does the genie feel when the camel keeps saying, Humph. A, afraid. B, mad, or C, sad. Circle what you think. Circle the choice you think. All right, you got it? You're doing great. Okay, let's go on to our last question, okay? Look at the chart. You're gonna see two pictures and then one that has a question mark at the end. What happens at the end of the story? You're gonna choose picture below that you think happened at the end of the story. Hmm, remember our story. You can go back and look in your packet too if you wanna look back at your story. Which of, the, which of those pictures should go at the very end where the question mark is at? Hmm, at the beginning, you're gonna see the camel and the horse talking. And then in the middle of the story, you're gonna see the horse, the ox and dog talking to the genie. But what happened last? What was at the end of that story? 
You're going to choose one of those pictures and you're going to circle the picture that you think should go in that last box. Super. All right, guys. Now I have a very important question to ask you. Okay. Are you ready? What are characters? Hmm. Think. Back before I read the story, we talked a little bit about characters. Do you remember what they are? Good job. All right, let's say it together. You ready? Characters are people or animals in a story. Say it really loud where the dogs can hear you outside. You ready? Characters are people or animals in a story. Very good. I'm so proud of you all. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson about characters. These are my babies here at home. This is Graham. Say hi, Graham. And then this is Scooter. These are my babies. We are going to go outside and enjoy some of this sunshine. I hope you do the same thing. We love you. We miss you. Enjoy yourself. I can't wait to see you soon. Bye-bye.